Hey, what is up guys, JT Trooper here, and today we're going to be installing the Fishbone rack that I just purchased. Uh, I just picked it up, and I'm gonna do a series of videos on this channel, this being the first, so uh, let's get right to it. All right, first things first is we gotta open up the box. Got my trusty knife here. We're gonna get this all opened up. And it is a pretty heavy box, just to let you know. Uh, once you get it open, you're gonna see all this packaging. It's really nicely packaged, and you got this injected styrofoam in there. So it molded to the actual half rack. And then you wanna make sure you got a big old open space because it is gonna take up a lot of, a lot of space on the ground. I had to move it from my porch, uh, as you saw there. The fishbone rack came with these foam stickers to protect your gladiator and any metal surfaces that make contact with each other. So here I'm cutting half of it in order to stick one half first and make it easier to apply. You're going to repeat this process for all of the arches of the half rack and just make sure you put them in the right position like for example this one the one with the badge that says fishbone on it is the first one or the one closest to the tailgate and then the one with the two badges on the sides is going to be the last one so the third arch from the tailgate and you're going to put this foam on all of them uh here you can see me cutting the foam into smaller pieces because they do provide you with strips and i'm just applying it to the bigger brace and the supporting braces so that they don't make contact with metal on the arches. So once you finish doing all of that, you're prepped and ready. You can start finally installing the rest of the rack. For hardware, it does come with everything you need to install it to your Gladiator. Even if you have the trail rail system, it comes with these bolts and these T-nuts that go inside that rails in order to hold it onto the bed. If you don't have the trail rail system, it's totally fine because these are going to clamp on to the bed itself and just hold it tight enough where it doesn't move. So this is all the additional hardware that comes with the kit. You have all your washers, all your bolts, everything you need in order to get this mounted onto your Gladiator and they're all stainless steel so they're not going to rust. So you're going to need some sort of thread locker, uh, either red if you're going to keep it on there a long time or blue if you're going to re remove it 19 millimeter wrench and a ratchet with a 19 millimeter socket and a manual ratchet just so you can hand tighten now the carriage bolts that you're going to be using to mount most of the rails together is going to be the smaller carriage bolts so they do have an order in which the washers go you're going to have your carriage bolt and then you're going to have your carriage bolt washer lock washer and then hex bolt the carriage bolt goes on the outside and the rest of the hardware will go on the inside of the half rack. The rest of the install consists of putting the top part of the rack together along with the sides and tightening everything down. I used almost all the foam that the half rack came with and I used these extra foam bits to prevent any rubbing or chip paint. This part of the rack is used for any fishbone accessories and it goes with this bolt, this washer and nut. For the actual bed mounts, this is what it looks like. This bracket's gonna go on this mount right here and you're gonna wanna dip it under and over and make sure that top lip catches the uh, lip of the bed. And then you wanna install the washer, the lock washer, and then your nut. Again, do not forget to put Loctite because I did in this step and I had to take it off and reapply it. After I tightened it with the power tools, I went ahead and tightened it manually hand tight. After all that, you are done and this is the finished product. 